So I'm assuming by now that most all of you watching this video saw what happened yesterday at that UFC press conference. What was it at the Barclays Center? Where basically Conor McGregor went fucking crazy. I'm sure all of you have seen it by now. How could you avoid it? Because it was all over the place on the internet and social media yesterday. They're still talking about it today. And all I got to say is what a bunch of idiots. No, no, not Conor McGregor and Dana White, the UFC. All of the people that actually believe this is above board, that this is real, that this was a shoot, those are the idiots. Like I see people talking about, oh, Conor's just coming to defend his friend because these people attacked his friend before. And, oh, are you fucking that naive? You would think especially dealing with UFC, who Dana White, has talked about in the past his reverence for Vince McMahon and wanting to be like Vince McMahon and trying to pattern his product as after Vince McMahon and making it modern professional wrestling with real elements in it, you would think you would understand the concept of a work and a work shoot. Especially, especially since so many UFC fans are either current or former professional wrestling fans. Whether they want to admit it or not, that's the truth. Many of them used to be wrestling fans back when WWF and WCW and ECW were cool. They pretend like they weren't now or they distance themselves from it because they're bigger and better than that because they watched the freaking UFC. You've really got to be naive to not be able to see past the trees on this one. I'm sorry. So let me get this straight. The UFC is holding a press conference or whatever the hell they were doing and Conor McGregor is able to magically get past security at the venue to be able to go backstage and throw things such as dollies and guardrails at freaking buses. Does this strike anybody as being a bit odd? Does this strike anybody as being a little too unbelievable, a little too outrageous for it to be real? Now surely there could be elements of this where it was a work and it developed into a shoot. It was planned to do one thing and it went out of control, similar to what will happen with stunts in movies. Sometimes people die performing highly planned out and choreographed stunts. It doesn't change the fact that it was a stunt. And it doesn't change the fact that you get this type of stuff all the time, wrestling, boxing, UFC, mixed martial arts. It's all a show. It's all a performance. It's all about trying to get people into Paying money to go to the venue or paying money to watch on pay-per-view. That's what it's all about. All the other crap beforehand is fake. And sometimes the stuff in the octagon, in the ring, is also fixed. Like, you really think that this was 100% real above board? Like, if this was real, 100% above board, and Dana White had any balls in him at all, he would have immediately come out and say, Conor McGregor is done in UFC, he is fired from UFC, and he will never be back in UFC. Like, this whole thing almost reeks to me of a Vince McMahon, Brett, screwed Brett, and I have no sympathy for him type of thing. Except, the thing is that Conor McGregor is still technically allowed to be a part of the UFC. And you ask yourself, maybe, and you ask me, why would they bother going through this? Why would they sit there and do this? It's very simple. Because UFC is in a bit of a lull right now. And with things such as UFC, boxing, WWE, wrestling, it is driven by stars. And when you lack stars, the product suffers as a result. That's just the nature of the beast. And when you look at UFC right now, who the hell do they have outside of Conor McGregor who hasn't fought in God knows how long for them, what, November 2016? The most notable thing Conor McGregor has done recently involving fighting, was boxing against Floyd Money Mayweather. They have no other stars. And before the UFC hardcores try to say this person or that person, no, they have no stars. And as a result, their product is in a lull. And I find it highly convenient that during a press conference that is happening during WrestleMania week, a WrestleMania show that happens to feature two of the biggest UFC stars we've had over the past decade in Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey, that all of a sudden Conor McGregor magically decides to sit there and go batshit crazy. 
the UFC and Data White did this on purpose. Because it's one of these things when you talk about from a conspiracy theory standpoint. Who wins, who loses, who stands to gain the most and gain the least by doing something like this. Conor McGregor, Dana White, the UFC, come out big time winners. Think about it. I'm doing a video about this and I can give a crap less about UFC. Think about all the mainstream coverage this whole thing got yesterday and into today. It's on all the sports talk radio. It's on major news networks and everything. The UFC is stealing the mainstream buzz from WrestleMania as it was designed to do. Oh, so somebody got fucking hurt a little bit. Who cares? Oh, Conor McGregor turned himself in and he was charged with this and charged with that. Oh, give me a freaking break. This sounds like a wrestling angle, a somewhat well-executed wrestling angle that is designed to create controversy because controversy creates cash and get buzz on a product at a time where it's lacking stars and it sorely needs it, especially trying to steal the thunder away from the WWE for their big WrestleMania event this weekend. And it would seem to me that they have won on all accounts here. And even after me pointing these things out, there are still going to be those that actually want to believe that this is real. Because I can't imagine UFC would ever... Why the hell wouldn't they? So much of what you've seen in boxing over the years, and even with UFC, the things beforehand are designed to entertain. They are designed to be a work. They are designed to work it into a shoot, frankly. And that's exactly what this is. You could sit there and be all goddamn naive and think Diana White is really truly pissed about this. You could be that goddamn naive to think that Conor McGregor really cares about his friend that much so he flew all the way to the freaking Ireland just so that way he could wreak havoc on a freaking bus window with the goddamn dolly. But the rest of us that live in the land of reality, not make-believe, can see that this is a work, a really good work, a well-executed work that so far makes the UFC big winners in all of this at a time where they really need it. Nobody's talking about the next show. What the hell is even the next show? Is it 223, 233? Who gives a shit? But people are talking about Dana White. They are talking about the UFC. And they most certainly are talking about Conor McGregor. So Conor McGregor wins significantly. Dana White wins significantly. And as a byproduct, the UFC wins significantly. Ding dong, dumb dicks. You got worked. Own it. Accept it. And embrace it. There are just too many things that line up here. Especially when you factor in of all the weeks this was going to happen at all the times it was going to happen. You can talk about a big show this. My ass. It just happened to happen the week before WrestleMania when Ronda Rousey is going to make her in-ring WWE debut. Her first ever match in WWE at WrestleMania. And you happen to do this shit to try and remind everybody that Conor McGregor still exists. Conor McGregor is still here. And Conor McGregor could potentially fight for the UFC again. And before you sit there and say, well, he's not going to fight anytime soon. Who says he has to? You can wait six months, nine months, a year. Imagine the buzz when he does come back. Imagine the hype that will be there when he does make his return to the Octagon or a boxing ring or wherever the hell. This was one of these win-win-win type of situations that is just too convenient to just simply believe that it just happened to work out really well. Dana White sitting there, I texted Conor McGregor, it was not a good conversation. I'm sure it was a fantastic conversation. Yay, fucking dog, this worked great. We're going to make a crap ton of money out of this. And Dana White's like, eh, yeah, lots of money. It was a work. A really good work. And it accomplished everything that the UFC needed to accomplish. Because it still tries to rip off from Vince McMahon and the WWE. And this time I can at least say they did a good job. But if you think this was real and you think this was about defending a friend, you're freaking crazy.